Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning, spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2015 American science fiction and action movie called Jupiter Ascending. The movie begins with Maximilian Jones, an astrophysics lecturer who meets Aleska in the middle of the night while he is looking at the sky through his telescope. Long story short, they fall in love and Aleska is pregnant with Jones's child. He wants to name the baby Jupiter, but she is not too fond of the name, saying that they cannot name a child after a planet. Suddenly, a group of robbers break into the couple's house and one of them attempts to take the telescope away. Jones tries to stop them, but a robber shoots him in the stomach, killing him on the spot. After that incident, Aleska decides to move from Russia to America. Somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic, with the help of other passengers, she gives birth to the child and decides to name her Jupiter. Back to the present day, Jupiter works as a janitor in a cleaning service company in Chicago. On the Zalantir planet, where the people were just being harvested, the Abrasak siblings, Titus and Kalik, are talking about the harvest. The sister says that the victims feel no pain at all and the harvest procedure was being done in a humane way. Suddenly, their elder brother and the successor of the Abrasax Empire, Balaam, shows up and it is revealed that their mother has died and Balaam is the one who ordered the planet harvest. Titus later mentions a very rare and beautiful planet owned by their mother called Earth. Back to Earth, Jupiter continues living her boring life as a janitor, moving from house to house to clean up her client's house. At some point, she claims that she hates her life. Three intergalactic bounty hunters, Falk, Razo, and Ibis, are waiting outside Jupiter's apartment when they spot a Lycanton named Kane Wise near the area. They realize that he is after Jupiter as well and decide to go after him. He breaks into a building where he checks a patient's record called Catherine Dunleavy. Realizing that he is being stalked, Kane emerges from the building with his hover boots, defending himself with his shield from the hunters. It's a three versus one condition. He tries to shoot back and the bullet hits one of the hunters, but he realizes that he cannot beat them, so he flees from there unharmed. In Abrasak's factory, Balaam meets Mr. Knight and Mr. Skalikon, who tell him that they sent a group of alien creatures called the Keepers to Earth and they have identified a gene print of Catherine Dunleavy, who they believe are the reincarnation of Balaam's mother. Balaam orders them to kill the woman immediately. Turns out that Catherine Dunleavy is Jupiter's roommate. She is getting ready to go out, but the keepers appear in the apartment and incapacitate Catherine. Jupiter tries to take a picture of them with her phone, but suddenly the phone rings. The keepers then chase after her. A few moments later, the girls wake up and they don't seem to remember anything because the keepers have deleted their short-term memory. Later that night, Jupiter attends a family dinner at his uncle's house, Vasily. She wants to borrow money from Vasily, but he refuses to give her the money and makes a rude remark, accusing her of using the money for useless stuff. Aleska is unhappy and tries to defend her daughter, though the rest of the family seems to agree with the uncle. Because of that, Jupiter withdraws the request. Turns out that Jupiter wants to buy a telescope with that money. Her cousin, Vladi, comes into her room and suggests she go to the clinic and donates her eggs for money. She agrees to it even though she has to split the earnings with him. The next day, while waiting at the clinic, she finds the alien photograph on her phone, but she can't remember about it. It is also revealed that she deliberately used Catherine's name to register to the clinic. During the surgery, the doctors and nurses tie her up and attempt to kill her. Luckily, Cain shows up on time and eliminates all of them who turn out to be the keepers sent by Balaam. He takes Jupiter out of there. In a spacecraft, Titus is informed by his aide, Famulus, that Cain has Jupiter with him. Jupiter awakens and attempts to shoot Cain with a gun. He explains to her that he is a genome-geneered human made up of a splice between a human and a wolf. That's why he is called Lycanton. When they are about to ascend to his spaceship, Suddenly, they are attacked by the hunters sent by Balaam who also destroy Cain's ship. With his hover boots, Cain protects and takes Jupiter away from the attackers. The girl falls in the attack, but he manages to catch her before she gets hit by the train. He then hijacks one of the planes and tries to attack back. Slowly but surely, 
Kane manages to eliminate all the hunters and escapes with Jupiter. Balaam sees Jupiter in the clinic and confirms that she is really the reincarnation of his mother. He warns Mr. Salkin not to fail again or he will regret it. The next day, both of them drive away from the city. While on their way, Kane explains to Jupiter about the Abersax family, which he claims to be the strongest dynasty in the universe. He also reveals that he is hired by Titus to find her, but he decides not to bring her to him. They eventually arrive at Kane's former comrade at the Legionnaire, Stinger, who currently lives with his sick daughter, Kaisa. He immediately punches Kane, and the two fight for a short period of time until they are surprised when they see Jupiter can control the bee swarms who are genetically designed to recognize royalty. Stinger realizes who she really is and starts calling her Your Majesty. When Stinger treats Kane's wounds, it is revealed that both of them were skyjackers who used to have wings. The men realize that Jupiter is a recurrence, which makes things more complicated. To bring Jupiter out of Earth, Kane calls the Aegis, space cops, to help them. Realizing that the hunters are going after them, they prepare the weapons to defend themselves. Stinger tells Jupiter that the Lycanton got kicked from the army because he attacked one of the royal family members and Stinger took the blame. He also reveals that the first human was born on a planet called Orus, not Earth. At the time they arrived at Earth, it was inhabited by dinosaurs and they decided to launch a large-scale extinction event to eliminate all dinosaurs. He adds that Earth was seeded by Abrasax Industries, and once the population exceeds the planet's ability to sustain it, it is considered ripe for harvest. To be exact, humans are going to get harvested. Not long after, the bounty hunters and a few keepers come up across Stinger's home. They engage in a gunfight, and Stinger attempts to protect Jupiter from being attacked. Jupiter tries to escape through a tall grass field, but Falk finds her and blows her away with his weapon. She almost gets killed, but Razo and Ibis come to help her and kill Falk. They capture Jupiter and ascend on their ship, but Kane manages to latch onto the ship as it departs from Earth. Jupiter is brought to a distant planet where the hunters decide to trade Jupiter with premium Abersax nectar. A few moments later, Kalik welcomes Jupiter and shows her a statue of her mother that looks exactly like Jupiter, revealing that she is a reincarnation of her mother. She tells her that she is 14,000 years old and explains that her mother was 90,000 years old when she was murdered. Later on, Kalik shows Jupiter something unexplainable. She walks into a full bath of nectar and immediately transforms into a much younger version of herself. After that, Kalik suggests Jupiter to claim her title as Abersax's family member because the Earth will belong to her once she claims it. Kane breaks into the palace and eliminates several guards there. Using his hover boots, he approaches Jupiter and attempts to shoot Kalik. In order for Jupiter to properly stake her claim on Earth, she hands over Jupiter to Cain, and later she is brought to Oris by the Aegis, which is led by Commander Diomika Singh. On the other side, Mr. Salkan is punished by Balaam because of his second failure to capture Jupiter. He then orders Mr. Gregan to bring the girl to him. Upon arrival at the Commonwealth Ministry, Jupiter meets Bob, an android lawyer who will help her complete the ascension process. She has to go through a long-winded and inefficient bureaucracy process which makes the android annoyed and decides to bribe one of the officers. After that, she is finally printed with a tattoo on her wrist and is officially allowed to claim ownership of Earth. Jupiter asks Cain why he still wants to help even after he resigns from Titus. He answers that it's because he will have the opportunity to get back to Legion if he helps her, but we know that there's something more than that. Suddenly, Stinger shows up and betrays his old friend, deciding to bring Jupiter to Titus. Upon arrival, Titus gives her a warm welcome and offers her to dinner with him, which she agrees to. Besides that, Kane is detained and Stinger is given a nectar to cure his daughter as a reward. Titus explains to Jupiter that Cain will be returned to Deadland because he broke their contract. He is aware that Jupiter has fallen in love with the Lycanton. He then brings her to a room where a lot of nectars are being stored. There, Titus reveals that nectar is refined from approximately a hundred human beings and Earth is a farm. He also states that her mother was killed because she tried to stop the human harvesting business. He lies about wanting to continue her mother's legacy and needs Jupiter's help. Thus he proposes to her, but she hesitates and doesn't answer him immediately. 
Titus tells Cain that he plans to kill Jupiter after marrying her and claims the Earth. After that, he is expelled into the void with his hands cuffed. Luckily, he uses his hover boots to burn the cuffs off and grab a floating spacesuit which saves him from suffocation. Unfortunately, he only has 40 minutes of oxygen, but the Aegis suddenly emerge from hyperspace and rescue him. Back to Earth, Mr. Gregan and his lizard army show up at Jupiter's house and capture all of her family. Titus convinces Jupiter to marry him, saying that marriage is just a contract in order to protect innocent people, which are humans on Earth. After knowing that Kane was kicked out from the spaceship, she finally agrees to marry him in exchange of Kane and Stinger's freedom and they can get their role back in the Legion. In the Aegis, even after getting betrayed, Kane asks for Stinger's help to rescue Jupiter. Stinger apologizes and reveals that he did that to get a nectar for his daughter. They immediately head to Titus's spaceship with flying war pods. Titus realizes this and orders his men to prevent them from coming close to the ship. The wedding is about to take place. Titus has his ring printed on his finger during the ceremony. Jupiter also nearly has hers printed on when Cain suddenly breaks into the cathedral and immediately points a gun towards Titus. Jupiter says that she only wants to go home and they head back to Earth. On their way, Jupiter gives Cain a badge as a sign that he and Stinger are now officially Skyjackers again. Upon arrival, Mr. Knight welcomes her and offers her to come with him to meet Balaam if she wants to save her family. She is then brought to the Abersox factory. The Aegis are close behind but are unable to enter the planet because it is protected by a cloud shield. She finally meets Balaam in person. Jupiter figures out that he is the one who killed his own mother because of his greed. Balaam then hands over a contract to Jupiter, forcing her to abdicate her title and return it to its natural heir. To convince her, he shows her imprisoned family in the floor beneath them. Left with no option, she has to agree if she wants to save her family, but she then realizes that they will still die since Balaam would harvest them on Earth, so she refuses and smashes the contract. In the Aegis, Cain decides to go through the thick cloud shield in order to save his lover. He barely makes it, but eventually arrives at the factory and begins to seek out Jupiter. Because Cain entered the shield by force, he broke the shield and a huge explosion occurred, causing a sudden chaos in the factory. Cain shows up at the facility and pulls Jupiter out of Balaam's room with a special device. Outside, the planet starts to destabilize and collapse. Realizing that, Singh orders her pilot to get into the planet in order to evacuate Cain and Jupiter. The Skyjacker fights Balaam's men while Jupiter rescues her family out of the facility. Balaam then confronts Jupiter and attempts to kill her himself. On the other side, Cain is confronted by Gregan and is forced to fight him. After a long fight, Cain manages to trap the lizard by using his special device. After defeating the lizard, he immediately brings all Jupiter's family members back to the Aegis. Back to Jupiter, she attempts to run away from Balaam, but he manages to spot her and hits her. She fights back and launches her counterattack against him. Suddenly, the platform they are standing on breaks slightly. Balaam is unable to hold on and he plummets to his death. Jupiter also falls but is rescued by Cain. They barely make it to the Aegis, but luckily all of them manage to escape the crumbling facility and get out safely. Jupiter and her family are taken back to Earth. They erase Jupiter's family's memory and they continue their life as if nothing has happened. Her aunt and mother are confused when they see their daughter's behavior has changed drastically. She also continues working as a janitor even after claiming the Earth. At the family dinner, the family surprise her by bringing out the telescope she wanted. She then tells them that she has a date. Jupiter meets Cain on the rooftop of a building. He finally has his wings back while Jupiter has gotten hover boots of her own. The couple then kiss and take flight over the city. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.